Hi, for Happy Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 73rd Venice International Film Festival. We are the international online um, web radio station of the festival. And today I'm very glad to be joined by Joseph Pyro and uh, Taylor Frey. Welcome, guys. Right after the press conference of Le Stadio Addosso by Gabriele Muccino. So, how are you? How did you go? It was great. I'm so happy. I'm just enjoying this time. Uh, I was proud to stand up there, or sit up there, uh, with our cast and our uh, incredible producers and our director. And um, I'm just proud to share this, this piece with all of you guys, and I hope you enjoy it. So tell me, how did it all start with, with Gabriele? How did you meet him? How was the cast? So as an actor, you get a lot of auditions, right? You have to go in and you do your best and you get no, you get told no so often. And this audition came through and I sent in a tape from my apartment in New York that went to, I don't, I think, I don't know where he was at the time, but um, which encouraged him to bring me into LA to do a chemistry read with Joey, Joseph. And so that's kind of how I got involved. This was one of those auditions that worked out in my favor. Thank goodness, because it's been my favorite project. Um, I got to travel, I got to meet great people, I got to work with fantastic actors and obviously an incredible director, so. Uh, it was great, I was in LA, um, and actually I was having a really bad week of auditions. I got really bad feedback from one audition, and I was like, I was down on my luck, and one night I went to bed and I was just like, please give me something worthwhile. Give me an audition that's worthwhile. And the next morning, no joke, I woke up and the audition was there. And so I just felt this sort of peace about it. Meeting Gabriele was incredible. We instantly had a chemistry um, and a, a collaboration in the room. Um, and it, luckily, he liked me too, and he gave me the part. And then Taylor and I read together um, a couple weeks later, and uh, it carried on through set. He, it was just an incredible atmosphere. W would you give me a, a brief introduction, uh, introduction of your characters in the film? I want to hear it from your words. Okay, uh, well, to be quite honest, what Matt started out as on paper really evolved once we got him on his feet and got him moving and um, going through the work. He really changed a lot. You know, Matt was raised what I like to think was very religious um, in the States, in more of the southern side of the States, which is even more conservative than, you know, the coastal lines. and. I think he always knew that he was attracted to guys to some degree. To what degree, I think he wasn't aware of just how powerful it was. Uh, he always had a girlfriend, as he says in the movie. I always had a girlfriend. I always thought that I could make this work. And he came to find out that it just wasn't for him completely. He had a lot of girlfriends, but he also wanted to try, try men. Um, and, you know, it brings up the whole scale of sexuality. People want to put people in a box and say, well, they're this and they're that. And it makes everybody comfortable. But for Matt, apparently, it was not so simple. You know, what he ultimately wanted was to probably form a partnership with a man. But, you know, he had a lot of experiences with women. In the film, and a small experience comes up again, which touches back on his home, whether that's because he really felt attracted to her or if he went back in the past mentally a little and it came up again seeing if it was still there and tried that out before he took these final steps with Paul you know it's he's got a really interesting story I think he from a human perspective he figures a lot out in this film I mean he starts out very cool calm collected but he's got a lot of untapped issues still and Maria kind of helps him deal with those a little bit and then it also solidifies that which helps him solidify his relationship with Paul and find his contentment there. So I know that's a lot, but to summarize my character, I mean, he's complex. He is, and he doesn't always speak up about it. So. Tell me about Paul. Well, Paul, when we meet Paul, he's living with Matt in San Francisco. They've uh, made a little life for themselves in a community where uh, being gay is very accepted and very open. I mean, San Francisco is so liberal in that way. And so they wanted to find peace uh, for their relationships and themselves. And when Marco and Maria show up, I think at first we both feel pretty comfortable because they're just going to be staying with us for a couple days. And we learn that, similar to Matt, Paul was raised in a very religious household. I think he always knew he was gay. I don't think he ever doubted it. But he struggled to be himself, even in his own family. Um, and so we learn in a flashback, you know, we, we see that struggle. 
And I think all those feelings when Marco and Maria come because they have the same kind of resistance, or Maria especially, she has a resistance to homosexuality and he starts to retreat into his fear. Um, and so I think for Paul, he's, you know, young 20s and, I th and he's reminding himself that it's okay, he is allowed to be himself and stand firm in the man that he is, regardless of what anybody thinks about him. And I think that's a really powerful message. In a way, in this summer, they all grow up, they all evolve. That's the, the beauty of friendship. I think that the, the, the film shows also that, that you can change in 20 days and then through communicating and who you really are and by sharing that with other people, you can really evolve and change into a better person. What do you think? Do you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. Um, and I also come from a school of thought where people are brought into our lives for a reason. And I do believe that truly, I don't want to quote like musical theater right now, like we must learn like wicked straight up. No, but there's, there's this line from a musical where there's something to be offered from other people and there's something we must learn from these people. And I believe that certain people are brought to you because you're supposed to, to grow and learn from them and learn with them. And that's the beauty of life. And everyone comes from such a different background and it's just it's wonderful it's a wonderful thing and just to jump in i think too it's the truth will set you free i really believe that and if you move through your heart and through love and you really take the time to connect with someone even though you don't you might not agree or you, you might be scared because it's something you don't know if you really just spend the time and that's why in 20 days so much can change so much can change in one day because the truth of who we are is deeper than what we see on the surface and so I think change is so easy. You just open yourself up and you find love and empathy in your heart. And we could all be in such a more incredible world if we just had a little bit more love. Yes. <laughs> what the world needs now is love, sweet love. That's it's the only <laughs> thing that there's just Leave it to us to break out into song. Love. Thank you so much for sharing That's your amazing. experience on the film L'estate addosso by Gabriele Muccino. Thank you guys. Thank you. Good luck. And this is Chiari Coletti for Fred the Festival Insider.